Okay, hi there, how the hell's it going? It's Nick Dutch back on the camera yet again. Another delightful tarot reading coming up for you. Today we're doing a reading for a YouTube user called Green Elf. Now, Green Elf has been a subscriber of mine for a long time. Uh, and of course, for Green Elf and all the other wonderful people who've been following my videos, both on this channel as well as my first channel, Bespoke Group UK, and a new emerging channel I'm doing, which is Nick Dutch Videos. Uh, of course, I'd like to say thank you very much for participating and continuing to be a part of the creative process that is developing here. Obviously, you know, PMs, they're, they're wonderful, but on this particular YouTube account, I just want them to be reading requests, okay? Green Elf, you've asked me for a general reading today because you're thinking about your spiritual matters, your spiritual development, the other things you're contemplating about is how things are going to work out for you in YouTube, and basically you're after a general reading, okay? So it sounds a bit complex, a bit convoluted. Sounds to me as if you've got an awful lot on your mind at the moment. It sounds to me as if you want to use this reading constructively, but also you're already aware that this particular reading can't actually cover all the various issues that you've got. Let's just, let's just have a quick look. We'll do a quick general, see what comes through, and take it from there basically, alright? Again, we're going to use the Celtic Cross spread because it's simple, it's convenient, um, everyone's heard of it, and all those people who haven't heard of it. Where have you been for the past 250 years? <laughs> Everybody remember a tarot reading is just an entertainment service but one you can get some kind of therapeutic benefit from at times. Rather like a good romantic film, okay? So let's just see, you know, what comes through in this particular case. Subconsciously, hoo -hoo, a very strong sense of a romantic bond developing between you and somebody else in the coming months. There's a strong feeling of being outwardly demonstrating a sense of the romantic connection, a feeling of wanting to be able to present yourself well to somebody else. A sense of, now is the time, alright? Don't rush. There's a feeling in this reading that suggests that you feel that your life has been put behind by so many different levels or whatever. Don't think like that. You've got plenty of time to get a good quality relationship developed. And I'm seeing something good happening for you within the next three to four month period, yes. But there's also some signs of issues you're powerless over creeping into the, the midterm future part of the reading. And that's going to cause a few issues, but it's not a complete sense of destruction. It's not a lightning struck, a lightning struck tower. It's a sense of there being some varieties of learning opportunities. Now, the devil card itself is under the planetary influence of Saturn. Some people say, remember Saturn, not anything else which sounds similar with a few other letters slightly different. And it's talking about learning, and that learning can happen through being in the wrong place at the wrong, or the right place at the wrong time, at the wrong place at the right time, or through being in the wrong place at the wrong time, and basically something that you're doing wrong or the way you're doing something is not quite working out according to plan. So this particular year is going to be dominated by a sense of growth, alright? When a tarot reader says growth, it doesn't always mean something positive, it can mean something negative. In this particular case, there's no real signs of defeat or destruction around that, okay? That time in the year is more a question of thinking uh, about what you will be doing in the future. Do an awful lot more looking before you leap. Do an awful lot more researching before you jump to a conclusion. Now, you spend a lot of time on YouTube. Be careful because YouTube is full of bad ideas. A lot of which have been very eloquently expressed, but they're still bad ideas. So you got to do a lot of thinking before you start jumping to conclusions. That's th that, what I would say, would be the main message that's got to dominate your year. A certain quantity of caution, not laden with anxiety, more laden with thought and anticipation and trying to cover issues from a wide variety of different angles. The signs around you in the here and now, I mean, there's a sense of there being some fun and some pleasure. Those signs of fun and pleasure aren't being repeated in the reading, which is suggesting that this is going to become a time of hard work for you, a sense of dedication and discipline and focus and being at the time of life when everything gets really, really serious. And that's essentially what you've got around you at the, in the here and now and at the moment. There is um, a feeling within this reading of good quality friendships around you emerging and developing in this year as well. Uh, and I would say that that feels very good and very positive to me. There is a sense of there being some minor conflicts between people that are close, but that does not seem to be a very dominant factor in this reading. So again, don't worry about it. By the end of this year, you will be much more aware of where you want the rest of your life to go. I'm seeing a new path being forged for you which can carry you forward, not just for the year of 2011, 
but for probably the next decade, you're going to go through some big changes this year. And I, I think that's going to be good, maybe welcome, maybe it's about time, and see how it goes. All right, it's, I would say it's, um, it's an intriguing reading. I mean, I could just turn around to you and say this is a positive reading, this is a negative reading, but this is the story of your life, or a certain part of it. So it's going to have its negatives and positives anyway. All right, it's, it's a reading which is talking about progress. And watch out for this good quality relationship which is around the corner for you. It's going to be fascinating, but watch out for the issues as they arise. All right? Bid you good fortune, God and all goddess and all none of the above bless. Nick Dutch, signing out for now. Oh, by the way, you're going to have a lot more fun on YouTube as well.